What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and we have a ton of news to talk about today concerning the new and upcoming MCU reboot of the Fantastic Four. It looks like we know who our main villain is going to be, as well as one or two, maybe even more, sub-villains of the movie. We know that Marvel Studios likes to do that sometimes with some of their films and projects, and we do have an update on who some of the cast members could be playing the role of the villain. We have a huge plot detail about the movie that we have to go over today. And yes, there has been some casting news. It seems like one character is definitely locked in, according to some reports, and it looks like the entire cast might have actually been found. It looks like Marvel Studios has officially offered the roles to certain actors, and it's up to them now to simply accept. And according to some recent reports that we'll go over, some of these actors have accepted the roles, but of course, we'll have to wait and see on that. But We'll break down the new plot details and the villain slash villains of this film in this video. And also, big congratulations to YouTube user CoffeeShakes86 for being the winner of our July giveaway. You've been messaged and congratulations. Also, we're doing another giveaway. We do one every month. So if you want a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items or some DC items, all you got to do is subscribe and leave a comment down below in the videos for a chance to win. We pick one winner at the end of each month and the winner picks one one item. So let's talk about this major plot point first before we dive into the villain, because I think that this is super interesting. This was rumored, or at least the rumor began about three years ago, maybe even four since Kevin Feige announced the Fantastic Four film was going to be in development soon at San Diego Comic-Con four years ago, back in 2019. Seems like forever ago now. But according to Grace Randolph, the Fantastic Four film is going to be set in the 1960s, and they will be sent out of time like Captain America. And I actually think that this is a super cool idea because they are what is referred to as Marvel's first family. They were literally Marvel's first superhero team of the Silver Age, and they're actually a family. Reed Richards and Sue Storm are married. They have kids in the comics. Johnny Storm is the brother of Sue Storm, of course, and Ben Grimm is the best friend of Reed Richards and the surrogate brother and uncle. So they're literally a family, and putting this film back in the 1960s, making the events of the movie take place not too long after the events of Captain America and Captain Marvel, could tie them into the MCU in a really, really cool way. But not to mention, Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards could have ties to Tony Stark father, Howard Stark, and or Hank Pym. So there are a lot of really cool connections that we could have here and a lot of cool cameos that could possibly take place in the Fantastic Four film if it is indeed set back in the 1960s. Now, of course, I know the question that many people are probably going to ask is, well, how exactly do they get time displaced and end up in our time? And the first thing that comes to our minds is the quantum realm. The Fantastic Four have a huge history with the negative zone. And although the MCU doesn't necessarily have a negative zone per se, we do have the quantum realm, a place that exists outside of space and time. And the Fantastic Four could get stuck inside of the quantum realm, get pulled in somehow, perhaps maybe by Kang, maybe by MODOK, just like Ant-Man and everybody was pulled in. And since Kang is now not there anymore, the Fantastic Four could stumble upon Kang's technology and Reed Richard, the smartest man alive, could use that technology to get his family out of the quantum realm, but could end up in present time. They could pull them to 2025. And that's where the connections could come in. Since Reed Richards is the smartest man alive, if he went forward into the future, he would realize that pretty quickly. From there, he would probably seek people that he knew back in 1960. He would probably first try to find the Baxter Building, which could possibly already exist if the Fantastic Four were existing in 1960. And it might not be there anymore, or it could be occupied by somebody else. Then he'll start to seek out people he knows, probably Howard Stark, in which he's no longer alive, but his son, Tony Stark, is known by everybody on Earth because he saved everybody, so he could possibly go to find Tony slash Howard and run into Pepper Potts. Or, like I mentioned, another one would be Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne. Or perhaps Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne are the ones who pull them out of the quantum realm. There are really cool possibilities of how they could go in the quantum realm and get pulled out, and I think this is our best bet of how they become time displaced. Now, as far as the villain is concerned, according to a recent report by insider Jeff Snyder, the villain is indeed going to be 
Galactus, who we have all hoped for, a true non-cloud Galactus. And here's where we get some casting info from Jeff Snyder. Concerning Galactus first, since we're talking about Galactus, he states that they want the actor that is going to play Galactus to be Latino. This lines up with the rumor slash report that we've heard that Antonio Banderas is wanted by Marvel Studios to play Galactus. And Antonio Banderas does consider himself Latino. He says, when I've gone to the US, I've considered myself Latino. Just want to specify that because he is actually from Spain. So that further backs up the report that Antonio Banderas could play Galactus. And we also have a report about who could possibly be playing the Silver Surfer. According to Jeff Snyder, Ibon Mas Bakrach, who was being rumored to have been offered the role of the Thing, could possibly be playing the Silver Surfer. Now, this is not confirmed, and I think it's kind of an educated guess by Jeff Snyder because he says he's not playing the Thing, but possibly the Silver Surfer. Basically, what this means here is Ebon Mas Bakhtaraj has been offered some role by Marvel Studios, and the insiders simply don't know which role that is. That's why he says it could possibly be the role of the Silver Surfer. And if it is, let me know what you think about that casting. And of course, Galactus as well. Now, what's really interesting about Galactus being the main villain of this is he's a cosmic entity. So even if the Fantastic Four somehow manage to defeat him or hold him back, He's going to come back eventually. And this actually could set up Galactus in a really cool way. It could give him a reason to come back to Earth, possibly for revenge. But it could establish that connection between Galactus and Earth and the Fantastic Four. They could fight him off in the early 1960s, and this could set him up to return once again in the future when, when they, they are, are now time displaced in 2025. So a lot of really cool possibilities here. Now, according to Jeff Snyder, he has said on the Hot Mike podcast, that Vanessa Kirby is cast as Sue Storm. She has been cast. That role is hers. Marvel Studios offered it to her and she accepted it. So according to that report, that's our Sue Storm. I am personally really happy with this decision, but let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Now, he also says that Johnny Storm is going to be played by Joseph Quinn. Now, we've talked about this before. Most people know him from Stranger Things, and I think a lot of people are okay with this casting. I think a lot of people like this casting. And of course, we want to hear from you. Let us know what you think about it down below. Now, Grace Randolph has come out and stated three people that Marvel Studios wants to play Mr. Fantastic. And according to her, Adam Driver is still a possibility. She says that Matt Smith, Dev Patel, and Adam Driver are the top three that Marvel Studios wants. And in referring to Adam Driver, she states, the MCU won't give up. Meaning, based on the reports that we've heard before, Marvel Studios did offer the role to Adam Driver, in which he declined it because he couldn't really connect with the character. However, it seems like she has heard that Marvel Studios really wants him to play Mr. Fantastic, so they're not going to stop asking him or not going to stop negotiating with him or trying to convince him that the character is right for him. But Matt Smith is another name that has been going around recently. Even Daniel RPK stated that Marvel Studios did offer him the role of Mr. Fantastic. Now, most people know him from Doctor Who, House of the Dragon, and Morbius. He's even been in the Star Wars franchise, so he is tight with Disney, which is Marvel Studios, of course. I personally think that he is an incredibly talented actor and probably looks more like Reed Richards than Adam Driver does, but, and no offense to him, I'm not sure he would be the perfect fit for this role. But, of course... Let us know what you think about it down below. Now, the other is Dev Patel, and he's been rumored for a pretty long time, and I actually do think he could pull off quite a good Reed Richards look, and he is a very talented actor. So I would be okay with this. Now, as far as the thing is concerned, Jeff Snyder says that he has been cast but does not know who he actually is. But that means most of the characters, really everybody but Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards, has been cast. So as soon as Reed Richards gets locked down, hopefully Marvel Studios will officially announce the cast to us. And hopefully that is not far from happening because everybody is really eager to hear who the true cast of the Fantastic Four is going to be. But the fact that the film could take place in the 1960s and Galactus could be the main villain with the Silver Surfer also appearing in the movie is really, really exciting and could mean a lot of really cool things could happen in the future of the MCU, especially with all of the connections the Fantastic Four could have. So lots of exciting things happening with the Fantastic Four and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Let me know your thoughts about all of these casting reports down below. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are they just kind of meh? 
let us know your thoughts. Also, don't forget to like the video. And of course, if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway. You can check out our website. You can check out our Discord server and Patreon. And of course, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.